Ah! Oh, Welcome back to Digi Bros. We're fighting the boss. Yeah, we were uh, we were gonna uh, let's take a second to think of some topics, but uh, it suddenly became topics. a very pressing matter. Uh, well, what have you been up to? Uh, are you really gonna? I've been playing Souls games. You know that. Oh, true. Are you still I guess, doing that? I guess uh, in the time since the last Let's Play we did, I beat Demon Souls. Oh uh, yeah, that was a good time. I thoroughly enjoyed it. We might. Play it on the show wow. in the future, possibly. Possibly. If we get bored of this game real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can shoot all the tentacles. Okay. Ah, fuck. Currently. Dude. Oh no, I died. Uh, oh god. Okay, I'm right. right here. Okay, it wasn't that far. Yay. Back. You got to use the strafe. So uh, apparently, oh, right. this boss is taking 100% of Victor's concentration. <laughs> but um. It's their boss. Yeah, I played through Demon Souls. It was great. I had a good time. I uh, I thought it was a lot easier than I expected it to be because uh, people kept building up that that game was a lot harder than the it's other so two. It's so hard. And uh, well, because we did it on the 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 um, yeah. live stream. We did a live stream where I did a Q and A, and Victor was playing Demon Souls, and like he just got really frustrated with it and quit because <laughs> he was having such a hard time. And uh, I feel like the reason I wasn't good at Demon Souls might be because I was playing it like Dark Souls. <laughs> Where I, I, I played it like Dark Souls. I get a weapon and I roll around. <laughs> like, I guess because I over level myself in all of the games, yeah. but I felt like in Demon Souls it was easier to. When you play level more of a, a, a shieldy. Style, I did have right? a shield. Yeah. yeah, the whole game. Or I remember before when I played Demon Souls, I did have the shield, and maybe I should like play more that way. Yeah. <laughs> and just be I safer. Guess, I guess it's possibly a game where. Where it's not as easy to just run around in your underwear like you can yeah. in Dark Souls. I wouldn't really know. I got a pretty good shield pretty early on, and I used it for Whoa, the whole game. So very clean. Most enemies would just bounce off of that shit. Yeah. And Demon Souls has a lot of, like... Oh, Jesus. You can very easily punish enemies. Like, they just... Like, I would deliberately let enemies hit my shield so I could smack them. You know, uh -huh. like, in Dark Souls, I usually would stand far back from an enemy and let them whiff, and then I'd go in and hit them. But in Demon Souls, I would just, like, l like run straight at them and let them bounce off my shield and, uh, to and then laugh at them for being fools. Which is what, uh, which, which, what I felt is missing from Dark Souls 2, where enemies can somehow punish you even though they... Even yeah. though an enemy bounces off your shield, they then immediately start up another attack. And I'm like, what? It's certainly. Why didn't I get the chance to punish let's them? Let's not talk about Dark Souls 2, though. Yeah, no. We, we'll, we'll try <laughs> to avoid it. All I do is bitch about Dark Souls 2. Exactly. It makes me so mad. It's, it's, I feel like the conversation in general in my life lately has been bitching about Dark Souls 2. <laughs> and, well, you know. It's constant. When you lose all the people in your life that you complain about, then you start complaining about video games. Yeah. You know? It's basically our, uh, our, our that's, current uh, Derek. That nice. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is the Derek. <laughs> or Kevin. Oh my god. Remember we had that one rant about Kevin. Dark Souls 2 is our Kevin. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is like that. We used, because, you know, it used to be our friends would all come over, we'd sit around, we'd have nothing to do, so we'd just bitch about whoever was creating the most drama in our lives <laughs> at the time. But then gradually I those suppose. people got phased out. Because you grow up, and, now we do and you nothing. don't want to have people around who fucking cause drama. Yeah. But if you don't have any drama, then you gotta, you know, have something to complain about, so... <laughs> There's just nothing to talk about. Yeah, the video games are the, are, the, are the subject. Bitching about video games. Need to bitch about something. Well, it's also, like, you know, because we've been talking about the fucking Souls games on this show throughout every other game that's not yeah. even the Souls That's games. what I was saying, like, I almost want to just do Dark Souls 2 because we've... Right. We need to put a wrap on it. <laughs> Well, like finish the, the thing franchise. Is, the reason that uh, well, we haven't done Demon Souls to finish yeah. the franchise, but like, save the best for last. The one. reason that, that 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 it happens so much is that like, the Souls games are like an important part of our whole social circle. Yeah. Like it's not just that we talk about it on Digi Bros. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Like all of our friends are big into Souls games, Constantly. and we have been since Demon Souls. So like, like the fact that I finally played through the games made it like a huge conversation point because yes. it's like you guys have been talking about it for so long and now I finally oh, can talk shit. about it you know and uh, and I also got everybody playing Demon Souls again because I beat it <laughs> because like 
Because uh, uh, Demon Souls was a lot like the first time everyone played through it. It was you know it took like ninety hours or whatever because it was super fucking like had to learn everything for the first time. Uh-huh. Um, and then everybody kind of latched onto Dark Souls as a game that they replayed over and over again, and people didn't really go back to Demon Souls. So when I beat it, and yeah. I was like, yeah, it only took me twenty hours. It was not hard, and yeah. everyone was like, well, maybe I need to revisit that. You know, like Shade went back and like fucking blew through it. Oh, did he beat it already? I don't know if he beat it already, but he was, like, halfway through the game, like, in three yeah. hours or some shit. Because he was saying that as oh, a... Oh, man. Like, oh, that shotgun's great, though. Shade was saying he hadn't played it since, like, you know, like, a year after it came out. And consider this, Victor. Demon Souls came out in 2009. Mm-hmm. It's 2016. Shade is 18. Shade was 11. Holy shit. So the first time Shade played through Demon Souls, <laughs> he was 11. Yes. And he was telling me, he was like, yeah, you know, I was really young back when I played it. He was like, I, I, I remember, I, A, I wasn't that good at games, and B, I would get really mad. Yes. You know, so. He gets super pissed. I was amazed that he beat it when he was a kid, and he, right. he didn't know how to lock on, and he would just grind forever <laughs> and get all of the best shit. Wow. So when I played I had a super hard time, and then, like, I played weak the whole time, and then Shade, like got all, everything in the fucking game before he fought the final boss and was, like, overpowered as hell. Because he just played it so long, like, right. that he kept leveling up. Well, what I did, because, like, I expected to have a hard time because of the grass collecting, and mm-hmm. in Bloodborne, I had just grinded for vials at the beginning. So I thought, if I do that with Demon Souls, then I'll have an easier time. I'll just uh, grind for grass. But grinding oh, for grass, shit. as it turns out, is a lot harder than grinding for blood vials because it's almost entirely random. There's no reliable source. Yeah. You know, like, in Bloodborne, and if an enemy drops blood vials, they'll always drop the same amount. The same enemy will drop the same amount. So you know exactly how many you can get running mm. through an area. Whereas... How the fuck do I get rid of this tutorial thing on my... Okay. Uh, whereas in Demon Souls, it was all randomized, so, like, Shit. there's no reliable way to grind. But what I gradually realized was that Probably. I was so strong that enemies didn't do that much damage anyways. Like, in, in Dark Souls and Bloodborne, like, you were always at risk. Like, you yeah. always had to be able to dodge. You always had to had to have healing on you. But in Demon Souls, like, the scaling is a lot different, where, like... Enemies just don't do a whole ton of damage, and you can get through a lot of levels without ever healing. Yeah. So, uh, so it wasn't as big of a problem. And then at the point when I got patches, uh, to open his store, and he would uh. sell me grass, and I just started buying grass like by the fucking truckload. So. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't become a problem. It was only like a very brief point in the game where it was a problem. But because you can do the levels in any order, it never got frustrating. Shit. Like I'd get stuck somewhere, and then I'd just be like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go do another level," you uh-huh. know. And oh uh, my fucking dude, this is like. I always come back stronger. Disorienting. Is, yes. I can't. Why do you keep flipping? I was trying to do that to dodge. I think. I don't think that's what that does. I don't fucking know. I can't like. Find these dudes. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. You have a radar. Use the radar I'm to using navigate. It. The radar only shows two dimensions. <laughs> no, it, it shows three because the, the, the size and brightness indicates okay. if it's on top or bottom. So stuff that's uh, above you will be big and stuff that's below you will be small. Or dark, fucking rather. Radar. God. <laughs> this, this is... is like you, I can't do this right you, now. You seem so intense. Uh, you want me to do this part, Victor? No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Watch him. There you go. Hey, you got partial shield. That's good, because I'm going to die. Yeah, you need to have your shield. Photon torpedo. <laughs> oh, ah. my God. Ah, oh, this is chaos. Shoot him. Shoot him. Get him. Motherfucker. Get him, boy. Oh, shit, there he is. How do you keep, like, overshooting? Because the controls are not quite as snappy as you'd think they would be. <laughs> I guess so. This hey, is really oh shit. Oh, this is still two. going. Oh, oh man. god, I don't have any health. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to do this? Dude. Let me let me do it! Play the game! You seem so <laughs> tense and frustrated. This is really taking me back to Robocro- uh, Robotech the Macross saga. Yes. Or no. It was Robotech something. Battlefield? Yeah, something like that. Battle Cry, Robotech Battle Cry, Battle Cry for the GameCube. It was a uh, like Gotta space shooter help. like this. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, it had like different ah. segments. I remember that it was like. I think it was pretty cool. Like the 
like the second level was like a space shooter in this vein and it was really fun and like the space levels were super fun but then the ground levels were just like no, a fucking tedious chore. I love the ground levels. Chore. They were cool. Shit, I died. I remember the ground levels so Oh, here we go again. Compared to the space levels. Nah. Space levels were red. Or I mean the ground levels were red. And then there was the GBA game, which was Robotech the Macross Saga, which was like a side-scrolling shooter that also yeah. had ground levels that were even more of a pain in the ass. Because they were isometric and it was hard to fucking aim. Not a fan of isometric perspective, as we've talked about on the show before. I can't- uh, it sounds like you're doing the Beast Wars opening, so I, was, I guess that was the Beast Wars opening. I couldn't remember what like, I was da, doing. Da, da, yes. Da, 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 da. Beast Wars. Motherfuckers. Keep getting rare titanium though. It's good uh, yeah. rare titanium grinding. I think you need that for something. Yeah, it's like buying shit or something. It's like Titanite. Upgrady type shit. Rare. Ah! <laughs> You're making me. This is no. Oh, I can just hold the button down. This okay. is. Oh, that. Okay, that makes things <laughs> that, different. Yeah, that makes, it makes things it a lot less, less stressful. Intense. I can safely say this is no better than the Game Grunts content that I was complaining about just now. Well, why don't you fucking <laughs> come up with it? You wanted the new Digibros, man. I, <laughs> Talk I, uh, about something. <laughs> I thought we had topics prepared, but we really didn't. Did, <laughs> if you didn't prepare any topics, why would you think you had topics? I did. All you wanted to talk about was how the Game Grump sucks. No, I did have topics like a, like a week ago. Yeah, I, I had topics a long anymore. time ago, but then the last when we did Uncharted and shit, like it was just like it also doesn't like it's it's hard for me to like the the easiest point in Digi Bros for me is when you seem really relaxed and like you're just playing That's on why autopilot. It's, it was hard to pick a game to play, Conrad. Yeah. <laughs> because I knew games like this would not be relaxing. That's why Dark Souls is the only you're fucking the one game I can play. You're the one who suggested this game! I know, because I was giving up. I was like, we need to play something. You were like, oh, Ratchet and Clank! I wanted to that give it a shot! great! We were supposed to do three and we couldn't find three. Because Devil May Cry would have been the fucking same. Ratchet and Clank 3 would have been the same. Uh, yeah. Uh. You guys don't realize how long we spend deliberating on what games to it's play. It's hard, man. Like, we spend hours just staring at our game collections going, like, what can we yeah. actually play on the show? Because it's like, with the Souls games and the Zelda games, like, we've played them a hundred thousand times, and we know everything about them, and, and like... And it's, it's just easy. You know, it's just a fun, yeah, the, easy game. Well, to, Dark Souls to is not think an about. easy game. But, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you never have to. It's question, not frustrating. You never have to question what am I supposed to be doing right now? Yeah, you know, I it, don't know. It's it's well, I don't know how to explain it because this should be very straightforward. It's just like it's very taxing. I uh, guess so because uh, it's taking a real tax on hey, my mind right now. But that's actually what taxing <laughs> means. Uh, all right, here's the topic. I, I got a problem for you. I, mean, problem. I got the problem. I, I was actually thinking of a bunch of problems that I wanted to bring in to the uh -huh. show, like biggest problem in the universe style. So here's my first problem: uh, people who complain about the way that you eat. Ah, oh, Jesus. Do you find this to be a problem? Do you I hate mean, it when people do it? All right, here's one. Vic. It's probably I probably am the problem. So. <laughs> no, I don't get this a lot from you. I get uh -huh. it a lot from a lot of other people. Uh, so you don't mean just like the fact that you eat with your mouth open like a fucking that's not. Uh, a first of all, do person. I even do that? And you second do sometimes, of all, yes. I don't get complaints about it from anyone, <laughs> except Besides for me. A, apparently you now. <laughs> No, I'm talking about like Maybe when you, you when you eat a slice of pizza and you don't eat the crust. Oh. And someone goes, great. "Ugh, I hate that." You didn't eat the crust? And then here's the line that kills me though. The crust is the best part. Who the fuck thinks the crust is the best part? People Wait, who said that? this? Who well, who was the last person to say this to Even you? Even mom said mom always says the crust is the best part. Well, she's also insane. Uh, Trevor was giving me shit about not e eating crusts sometimes. You know? Oh, God. Because it's wasteful, I don't, I don't, I don't think he said that crust. exact line. Well, here's the thing. Like, because when you order pizza, you, you, you always get slightly more than you can actually finish. Yeah. Because otherwise, like, would you rather have slightly too much or slightly too little? Yeah. You know? Especially because you can save it for later if you're still hungry. So, like, let's say I go out and get New York pizza. I usually get two slices. 
Now, if I eat the crust on both slices, then it'll be a lot harder to finish both slices than if I didn't eat the crust, yeah. right? Like, because the crust is filling, and it's, it is markedly worse than the rest of the pizza. Yes. And I don't under- gonna, like, I only like the crust if I have enough sauce left, or if I, I have some kind of sauce. Right. Like, sometimes I'll eat it strategically where I'll leave, like, a little bit of the pizza still next to the crust so that when I eat the crust, it's like I'm eating more pizza. I think it's important that I give a piece it's of advice. It's a desperate advice. struggle. There's a very important piece of advice I need to give. If you think the crust of the pizza is the best part of the pizza, eat bread. <laughs> I know. Stop Why even? Why are you even eating pizza? You fucking idiot. And eat bread. Because clearly <laughs> you don't like the thing about pizza that makes it pizza. <laughs> like, I'm like, can I get just the crust of the pizza? Yeah, like you might as. Can like, I have just the just? If it's the, the best part, why bother with the extra effort of all the other bullshit? Uh huh. You know. No, the best part is literally everything on the crust. All yes. of the other parts are the best part. The cheese, the sauce, the toppings. Those the, are the, the best part. The foundation, the crust is just a foundation so you aren't eating just cheese, you know? Right. Like, I w yes, I sometimes, you know, I, I would rather just eat, like, sauce and sausage and black olives and cheese and the, the crust isn't that important. It just ties it all together. It's a, it's a mechanism to deliver it, yes. you know? Like... I, and people say the same thing about sandwiches. The crust is the best part. If you don't like eat the crust on a sandwich, so you know they're retarded. Like the if that was the case, again, eat bread or just eat crust. You can just get crusts. That's yeah, a thing. You can, you you can, can buy crust. crusts. <laughs> just eat crusts. That was a slot Why machine. are you bothering with the formality of the rest of the thing? I think the crust is the only part of the pizza that can be a oh! little fucked up, and still the pizza's pretty okay. Uh -huh. You know, like like you got to get the sauce right. If you fuck up the cheese, it's... I, I oh, Nothing's yeah. worse. Because if you just fucked up the crust, you just don't gotta eat the crust. Like, right. if it's just a shitty crust, you just don't eat it. Exactly. Sometimes and crust is great, and you'll eat the crust. Most of the time, it's shitty. Yeah, most of the time, it's all hard, and, like, especially on New York-style pizza, the crust is almost yeah. never very good. Uh, you know? Yeah, especially if it's reheated, then the crust yeah. is intolerable. Like, that's the thing. What, what gets me the most, whenever we go out to pizza places, like... Sometimes you go, give me two slices of pepperoni, and they give you two fresh out of the oven slices that taste great. And then the other 50% of the time, they give you the slice where you can clearly tell that they've put a new layer of cheese on it and melted that cheese for 10 <laughs> minutes and then given it to you because yeah. the cheese will be on top of the pepperonis. <laughs> and anytime you get that, that's when I know it's a problem. You yeah. know, and I'm always disappointed the second I get the pizza because I, you're not pulling the wool over my eyes. You never <laughs> put the cheese on top of the pepperoni unless you're reheating the pizza, uh -huh. and it always tastes real salty and real wrong. It's a fucking conspiracy, man. This is a pizza conspiracy. How do I get in the car? I don't want to jump in. at Just the car. In. Are you sure? Yes. All right. I didn't want to fall off the stage and start the whole fucking thing over. Yeah. Shweep. I think it'll save the fact that you've gone through the car, but I'm not entirely wow. sure. Wow. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it drives me crazy. People fucking constantly gotta look. Like, dude, it's my food, all right? I paid for it. I'm eating it. Uh -huh. You know? Even if I didn't pay for it, who are you to tell me? Like, oh, I, I bought that pizza. You better eat the whole crust. Fuck off. <laughs> not that I've ever had that. E well, not that I can remember having that exact scenario. Yeah. But. People can be assholes, though. And then especially, all right, here's a here's a problem with me. When I'm eating pizza in a social situation with people I don't know, I feel obligated to eat all the crust so I don't look like an asshole. No, oh, fuck that. Yeah. I'm just, that's, I, that's fuck. I, I dare someone to say something to me about me not eating the crust. Because, well, it's not, I don't think they'd say anything, but that, you know, that's going to leave an impression on, on a person. Like, if they think that you're a wasteful person, now they have their perception of you. And... You I know, was, uh, when you're in a, in a working situation, you don't want people to be thinking that you're, like, an asshole like that. <laughs> I was, uh, I was eating pizza in front of Trevor, and he saw me not eat the crust, and he was like, how can you not eat the crust? And I was like, I just don't want to fill up on crust, Shit. right? Uh, but then he saw me eating it again, and this time he just shook his head when he saw me not eating the crust. And then he, he tweeted, Oh my Nothing god! Nothing I hate more than people who don't eat the crust Trevor! <laughs> Trevor, give me a fucking break! <laughs> So he could passive aggressively shit. shit tweet me uh, <laughs> without without using a tag. So it's like just about people in general, you know. That's fucking amazing. Like, clearly I inspired the tweet.
That's right, I'm calling you out on uh, national TV, Trevor. That's very amusing. <laughs> That's like, this has become better bitch. than I thought it could be. This is a great topic. <laughs> And he's gonna be in the comments now too. Yes, like, yeah, fuck exactly. people who don't eat pizza. Crust. He's gonna have some fucking rent. It's like you guys are the. He's gonna be disappointed in fucking you for white privilege me. bullshit. <laughs> They're starving people in Detroit. goddammit. it! <laughs> and they want my leftover crust. I mean, I get, like I bought the pizza. The pizza's gone. It's not helping anyone who's starving. I I just don't get like I don't get people who think that like. The way you eat something is now how everyone else eats something, must uh -huh. eat something, you know? Like, well, I like crust, so clearly everyone who doesn't like yeah. crust is a fucking idiot. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, there's certain, like, areas where people won't criticize someone else's taste, but then other ones where they somehow, like, feel just... Like, okay, if I sat here, like, let's say you told me that you liked some anime show that I don't like, it would be, like socially not okay for me to just sit here and rip on you for not like for liking yes. that show right like people would be like wow what an asshole everyone can have their own taste they can like whatever they like yeah but if it was pizza crust suddenly it would be a big problem yes suddenly it'd be like oh you oh. <laughs> wow you fucking idiot yeah how could you not like pizza crust like it's like now it's like uh, like virtuous yeah like some kind of social justice pizza warriors <laughs> exactly <laughs> I think, you know, it's impossible to waste food after you've purchased food. Because that food has now served a purpose. Because you have paid for it. And therefore it is not wasted because you have supplied money into an economy. And that is going to allow more food to be produced. You are not wasting your food if you bought the food. No one else can eat that food after you've bought the food. It's already wasted. Like, no matter what, if it goes in your body or not, that food is gone. Someone else can't eat that food in, in Africa, you know? Like, how is it going to get to them? You did not waste food. Well, <laughs> if, this is my perspective. if as a culture, we stopped allowing ourselves to have a culture of wasting food all the time, uh -huh. and we wouldn't waste... Like, if we all stopped throwing out that last piece and then making that into the next meal, you know, like if yeah. we all... But you're not going to save all your, your pizza everything. crust and then that's your next meal. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's, I mean, yeah... Just saying, having a couple spoonfuls of some shit on your plate I mean, is I get not the that same some... as, like, throwing away a, a bunch of food at the grocery store when, you know, they they have to throw away all the old vegetables right. because supposedly they're expired. That's wasting food. That's yeah. throwing tons and tons of food in the trash. Throwing away my pizza crust is not fucking wasting food. I think a lot of people just hate to see... <laughs> see the idea of it. Ma? <laughs> okay. Has she been, like, listening to us <laughs> rant or something? I bet. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, apparently dinner's ready, so yeah. we, can, we can go waste some food right now. <laughs> let's waste that episode. shit, man. Yeah, let's just throw it all away. No, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think some people just don't like to see food enter the trash can. Yeah. You know, some people just feel uncomfortable knowing that the food was not eaten, but it's, uh, it's the sunk cost fallacy. This is, like, literally... When I had the sunk cost fallacy explained to me, it was through this example on a You Are Not So Smart, where it was like, you know, you'll order more food than you can eat, and then you'll feel like you have to justify the fact that you spent all that money by yeah. eating all the food. But it's like, the money's gone. Uh -huh. Nothing's going to bring it back. Like, you're not eating... Like, if you spent $15 on a meal and Sometimes you realize you just that didn't you should have You didn't 10. know you were going to get that much food, you know, and it's right. not your fucking fault. Like... It's People you couldn't finish just feel it. the need to like, like, oh, the like, I have to justify the fact that I spent this money. It's like the money's gone, dude. It, eating, eating yourself until you're fucking feel bloated and you don't feel good anymore uh, is not gonna bring back the food that you oh, fucking spent the money on. You know, uh, the money that you spent on the food. Anyway, uh, next time on Digi Bros, more of shit, this tournament. Shit. And, Fuck, I died. Uh, we'll All go right, let's eat go get food. Food while I'm dead. <laughs>